Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I look busted up and it's still raining. Also, I'm back in my dorm. It's Sunday, I came home, so it's time to get to work. We got stuff to do. Look at the hair. Every, You know what, I think the bad luck been coming because of the hair. Every time my hair is not how I want it, I have crazy bad luck. So we bleaching the hair and we bleaching the eyebrows today because look, yep, they grown back the color. So we're gonna look gone and lighten these babies up and then we're just, I'm gonna do a full 360 for you guys. So this is what we're working with. I just cut my hair down so I can get like some of the blonde off because it's just my excess hair so this is what we're working with y'all I have to bleach it weekly I can't do anything about it especially when I want to keep it up and I already have my concoction made so we just want to jump right into it because and I'm ready to get I'm ready to get back okay and you can still see the cut and it's still a little swollen right here oh <laughs> like come on Oh my god so I'm gonna um I'm gonna jump right into this after this but I'm gonna I got my towel and I'm gonna put a cover shirt over this so I don't put bleach on this shirt so let's just get right into it y'all and I'm gonna grease my head so let's get right into it so we are back with another hair video y'all I be bleaching the heck out of this hair and I gotta do it every week so now we are doing I'm using the 30 developer I always use 30 first and then 20 toward the end so I did two end up doing two rounds y'all I think I did three rounds I did two rounds I believe see this is what happens I always forget what I do but y'all don't use your hands it's just me because I don't have no gloves and I guess I use a plastic fork to stir it um don't mind me I'm in a dorm um I don't lack of resources okay I should have got some gloves I literally did not think about that but yeah I know how to get it off I don't recommend it seriously that's to burn your hands don't do with okay y'all so i just got to drawing it um just got to washing it out this is the first round i let it sit down for 50 minutes so this is it oh it already felt like forever i was like this is gonna be a process because i gotta do it four times it's gonna take about four hours so right three hours so i'm gonna just hop right into it because look at this y'all this just shows you it's like my roots were like black so I'm basically like it's, it had to go brown some pieces that are blonde was already it's just a process next round <laughs> just want to jump right back into it every time it looked like this like after the first round I'd be like oh yeah this is gonna be a long process just because I know when I let it grow out too much the black it just takes so long y'all and I thought it was gonna be like two hours this time no it was still about four hours like a four hour process I, I let the stuff sit on 50 minutes, and that 50 minutes was just so long, y'all. This process of bleaching my hair weekly, four hours, like, I got to give myself four hours every week. Oh, that is so annoying. But you know what? My hair still look good. Okay, y'all, so we are at the yellow stages. We are getting there. I'm going to use the rest of the 30 on my head again. I might do it twice. We'll see, because it should lighten up more after this. But we are getting there. So this is after the second round. And for now, I'm going to start leaving them on, like, the rest of this for 35 minutes. So, let's just start the next one. And I already greased my hair. And don't judge me with this fork, y'all. Y'all, while I'm waiting for this 35 minutes, I was, like, over here thinking, what is the point? What is the point of anything when you actually think about it? It's just been so negative this year and then i cried a lot in the car coming down here because of matthew perry oh my god rest in peace because i love chandler okay not that i meant no he was going through a lot so i try to look at the positive side i try to remember him as he was on um friends i freaking love friends y'all i still watch it i was watching it early today and i'm gonna watch it forever i love that show i just still can't believe it it's a lot of celebrity deaths they get to me but it'd be like the actors because they actually make you feel things man him the dad from full house oh that got me bray wyatt you know wwe that got me those are like the ones that make me cry so y'all i was just thinking over here i was just like it is so negative this year and i know you know people go through so much and it's so sad but like i'm just like at the same time, I keep telling myself, you got to look positive. Literally, I had to listen to sad music and cry in the car, y'all, because that was so sad. That was just so sad. Um, hearing that last night. I freaking love him. Oh, my God. And that was my favorite character on Friends. So, I was mourning today. And I was like, you know, rest in peace. Rest in peace, Matthew Perry. He was amazing. I just wanted to say that because I'm like... Oh, oh my God. All my people are leaving. This is not, it's not fair. 
It's not fair. But like you said, you never know what people go through. Because when I heard about, you know, his situation, you know, I was surprised. But at the same time, people have things they go through. And it's just crazy because you just never know. Another random thing to talk about, even though that was not random. I really wanted to talk about that. Just because I'm waiting for my hair. I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> Um, I was watching and had to catch up with WWE, y'all. See, I had, I kind of stopped, I didn't stop watching it, but like, I kind of took a break since Roman left and then he came back and I'm like, okay, now I'm back cause, because that's my favorite wrestler and I love everything about him. So like, yeah, y'all, what's up with that? <laughs> also NBA, what's up with the, um, games? You know, I've been watching, um, I, I watch the highlights and I watch NBA on TNT. That's how I keep up. I be laughing with like, you no. Know, Charles and Shaq and them and you know that's I tried to Kenny and them and Bernie is it Bernie? Bernie him I think it, it should be Bernie I'm like I know their names I swear to God okay hold on NBA on TNT cast Ernie why was I saying Bernie oh my god I'm ashamed because I love him I'm so ashamed y'all sorry Ernie the whole cast I was just said the whole cast of NBA on TNT I'd be having to catch up on there I still think it's weird with Damian Lillard um on the Bucks, but I love him and I love the Bucks, so I'm all with it. Okay, I'm a Bucks fan, y'all. Live in Arkansas, I don't care when I freaking raise the back, so I'm a Bucks fan, so you know. Least favorite team? <sighs> I don't really care about a lot of these teams. Only ones like, I actually watch the Bucks, the Bulls, the Heat because of Jimmy Butler. Um, Lakers, because I'll be curious like what they mess up on or if they mess up on anything. And also, you know, just to check out the games. Um, the Grizzlies, because, you know, I think I just, it's certain people I look at on these teams. Okay, yeah, I watch basketball, but it's certain people I focus on. Because last, last I, was, I was about to say last semester, y'all. <laughs> the last, you know, last games, were the, there was a lot going on. So I'm actually curious, and I do be catching up with all these games. But, yeah, major Bucks fans over here. I am a Bucks fan in Arkansas. Go outside and say that stuff. Is there a Bernie in this NBA cast? Hold on. Is there a Bernie in NBA? Because I would feel so stupid. NBA. Bernie. Yep, Bernie Fryer. We'll just go with that. <laughs> okay, yep. 73 years old. Somebody named Bernie up in here, y'all. I can't believe I forgot Ernie, y'all. That is so funny and crazy. And y'all, in this clip, I was talking to my sister because her and her dog was attacked by another dog, and she had to fight off that dog. And y'all, I don't play about we don't play about our dogs. And she had some crazy wounds, and now she's suing. Y'all, it's just a whole lot of it. Anyway, let me stop getting distracted. Y'all, I don't even know what round I'm on. Even as recording this, I try to count it, and I keep getting distracted. I think I'm on, like, the 20 developer now because we are at, like, the 8-minute mark. I believe I'm at the 20 minutes, like, not 20 minutes, the 20 developer because it's getting lighter. I could be wrong, and I'm editing these videos. That's kind of funny, and it? I don't know where I'm at, but I just kept it moving because, y'all, I don't know. I, you know, editing video, videos, you'll think, like, it's easy, but it's not. Okay? <laughs> okay, y'all. So, I just got to washing this out, and it's not where I want it yet. So, I have enough, and I'm going to use the rest of this bleach. And if I have to make another batch, I will. It's, this is it so far. I'm going to do a full 360. Now, it still look good, but I'm trying to get it really, like, really, really bright. So, I'm going to let this sit on for another 35 minutes. God, this is a really long process, but you know what? I'm used to it. So let's just finish it. So yes, y'all, we are on the 20 developer, and it looks so good. Like, I'm just still wasting stuff, and I try to be careful. And that's why I put that um, the shirt on, y'all, because that stuff, that bleach get everywhere, and they really do bleach your clothes. Like, make sure you have an old shirt or anything to cover up. Okay, y'all, so I got eight more minutes for this. So I'm going to go on and do the brows so they can sit on here. And always make sure you put your grease the outside so you don't burn your skin. So, yeah, these, I bleached them, was it last week? But they already grew back in the color. And they still look light, but, like, I like them blonde because I like to get them the color I need. It. So, yeah, just grease the outside and then we're just going to. You use a Q-tip, okay? Don't use your finger, like me. And I'm gonna let this sit on for probably like 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna wash all this out and see if I need to do another round on my hair. 
or another round on these brows because last time I did two rounds. Okay, y'all, so I just finished washing it out and my eyebrows, yeah, they're gone, fully blonde. Okay, let me zoom in because you can see when I zoom in. And also, I did arch them the other day, so I'm thinking about gone, but that's why I fill my brows in, so I don't really care. So, this is them, the full 360. The color turned out really, really, really good. I was worried. I was wondering if I want to do another round, but I was like, it is currently six o'clock and I need a break. I've been doing this for like four hours and I already put my purple shampoo on it and conditioned it. Also did the same with the brows. Now I'm in a good mood because my hair looks good. Okay, so it was a success until next time because I do have to do this weekly. It's stressful, but at the same time, it has to get done because my roots grow in so fast. And also, I'm happy that I kind of got this to match because for some reason, the front part of my head is darker. Like my blonde is darker in the front than the rest. But this time, it actually looks really good. So on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. This was actually very much needed. I don't know. It just be looking so bad with the roots and I'm really not a fan of like dark roots and blonde hair sometimes. It's cute when it grow out because it get curly. That's why I cut it because I'm like it just started doing its own thing and I can't work with that. But I love how it look now and now I'm in a good mood with no eyebrows. Like <laughs> blonde eyebrows. So once again I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at I touch in the green and I will see you guys on the next video.